Welcome everyone to the Vyond Podcast. Today we're doing a deep dive into some uh, really interesting developments in space exploration. We're focusing on one particular mission that's, well, pretty ambitious. That's right. We're looking at China's plans for Mars sample return. And specifically, a really clever bit of engineering they seem to have come up with to uh, make it all work. Okay, so big picture, Tianwen-3, the Mars sample return mission. And the timeline seems aggressive launching potentially in 2028. That feels much sooner than we were hearing before. It is, yeah, quite ambitious. And the mission itself, it's not simple. It's actually two separate launches they're planning. Two launches, okay, how does that work? Well, you've got one spacecraft that you know lands on Mars, does its thing, and then launches off Mars again, the ascent vehicle part. Right. And then there's a second spacecraft, an orbiter, that's already circling Mars, just waiting. Waiting to grab the sample. I heard something kind of unusual about how they plan to do the transfer in orbit. Ah, yes. That's the really interesting part. Instead of a, let's say, traditional docking, yeah. they're apparently planning to literally catch the sample container in orbit. Catch it, like a uh, plane catch in space around Mars. That sounds tricky. It absolutely does. And we have some details on the catcher mechanism. It's reportedly quite lightweight, only about 12 kilograms. 12 kilos? to catch something orbiting Mars. Wow. And the sample container itself? They say it's roughly the size of uh, like a large coffee can. Okay, so paint the picture for me. The lander collects rocks, puts them in this coffee can. Yeah, sorts them out first, presumably. Right, sorts them. Then a small rocket blasts just the can up into orbit. Exactly. The ascent vehicle gets it into Mars orbit. And this 12 kilo thing on the orbiter has to somehow snag this moving can. That's the plan. The orbiter rendezvous with it, the device catches it, secures it, and then importantly transfers it into uh, a separate storage vessel for the trip back to Earth. And how much material are they hoping to bring back this way? The target is around 600 grams of Martian rocks and soil. So why this, you know, elaborate catching method? Why not just dock like usual? Good question. It seems to come down to the ascent vehicle, the part launching off Mars. Getting off a planet takes a lot of energy, right? So mass and power are extremely limited on that vehicle. Ah, so a big, heavy, power-hungry docking system just wouldn't fit the budget mass-wise. Precisely. Traditional docking systems can be quite heavy and need significant power. This new design, according to the researchers involved, is apparently much more integrated and way lighter than comparable systems. So a constraint led to potentially a really novel engineering solution. Exactly. It seems like a clever adaptation to the challenges. And where might they grab these samples from? Any specific locations mentioned? Utopia Planitia is mentioned as a potential candidate region, among others. Utopia Planitia, that rings a bell. Big impact basin, wasn't it thought to have ice? That's the one. Scientists are very interested because it might have held significant water ice, maybe even subsurface water historically. Samples from there could tell us so much about Mars's past climate, geology, even the potential for past life. So for you listening, think about that challenge, a 12 kilogram device catching a coffee can whizzing around another planet. It really highlights the kind of uh, incredible problem solving that goes into space exploration. It really does. And if they pull it off and bring back samples from a place like Utopia Planitia, well, the science could be revolutionary. It definitely makes you appreciate the different approaches engineers are taking worldwide to tackle these huge challenges. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have for this particular deep dive. Thanks for joining us as we explored China's fascinating Mars sample return plans. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.